Ja, ja, ja. Kira.
Our notice. They just came in the middle of the night at 11.30. We just saw a bulldozer with a few cars and a few very nasty people. They just came, they broke the windows and they started, they just treated us as if we were animals to them because our belongings were in the house. The notice is, it was just verbal and they had said it's going to be in August, 1st of August. We were preparing to leave 1st of August but not two weeks before it's uh, for him and we have elders our we have neighbors my mother personally they're old people the way they came and the way they started threatening them my mom almost got a stroke here and uh, in the midst of all this we tried to pack and do everything and at the end of the day half of our things as you can notice behind me that is our house or was our house that they are breaking but uh, we hope that we can they can really see what damage they have done because this is not something money can return this is also something they have done that has really wrecked us completely it was it this is a home to us to me meeting with them there were the people, some of them had taken, for some we were not in, we were not in agreement of the book, that book they had given. We wanted them to amend. That was what is in process. And we, we and him had already discussed it and we were still in discussions. And there, there is so much that I'm not able to say. My lawyer is going to represent me. But at the end of the day, what they have done is injustice because they were supposed to give us until 1st of August, not 11.30 at night. With all due respect. No. If anything had happened to my family, that was something way worse than this. Money comes, homes come and go, but not your mother's or your father's. Into conclusion, but now for them, they have already assumed and they've already said what he wants to say. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the house. I said, I'm going to go to the Sina sijijui si hata sijui kinyo nafanya nimechanganikiwa sijaweza kulala bado hiyo hiyo nimeshtuka kushtuka tu bado nafikiria nini nini itafanyika nini haitafanyika hata usiku usingizi sipati naona ni kama hiyo bulldozer inaanza kukuja na mambo ya manyumba hata sijui sasa sina mpango pali naenda pali naka nilikuwa nimejipanga a August sasa hii umekaa hapa kwa kipindi cha muda upi mimi nimekaa maisha yangu yote hapa Nimezaliwa hapa, nimecheza hapa. Hii hata hizi mamiti hapa sasa kitu yote ina inakota inavunjwa ina niathiri. Naam na kwa Kiswahili la kuna chochote ambacho mwaokoa katika baada Kuna vitu zingine bado iko kwa nyumba. Sikuweza kuokoa maana yake ilikuwa tu mimi na mamangu. Ilikuwa short time notice. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll ask the, them to give us a compensation for the damages they have caused. Na mtuwani zingine ni kuhusiana na fidia. Serikali ya kaunti na Nairobi ilikuwa inasama itatua fidia ya shilingi la kisita kwa kila mmoja. Labda nyinyi mnachukulia je fidia ini inatosha? To me, no. Of course 600 is not enough. And also now what they have done is also not enough. I am asking for more. Umetajia kuhusiana kus, uh, na wakili wako? Hiyo sasa mambo ya mahakamani njo loya ako siwezi kuongea ni loya njo anongea mambo ya mahakamani Lakini asha wasilisha kesi ama mna mpango wa kusilisha kesi Lazima tukona mpango manake ndiyo yu compensation nye nyamesema hametupatia mi bado sijapata 
lakini as we are asking how to be legally binded what is our surety that after two years we are going to come back do you really think here it will be built in two years or less than one year that's what he's saying maybe three years maybe four years you never know eh? you never know how many years it will take we want to know because me i want to come back to being a homeowner here what's my next step your name please you see one of my neighbors now is getting an attack